The buzz is building. An entire industry is ready for liftoff as new rules could clear the way for a commercial use of drones. That is our top story live at 4.30. Good afternoon. I'm Christina Moreno. And I'm Christine Parr. Billions of dollars are at stake in the battle for businesses to use drones. Action News reporter Corn Hoggard is live in the newsroom now with the winners and losers after the FAA released its proposed regulations. Corn. Christine Graciela, safety and privacy concerns have kept drones grounded for quite a while now, but that could end soon. Farmers, real estate agents, and wedding photographers are among the big winners. Amazon and pizza places like me and Ed's look like losers. I'm recording from the camera on the aircraft. Chris Geiger's love of aircraft and his love of photography intertwined almost three years ago. I can touch the screen and, and move the camera independently of the aircraft. His drones have given firefighters the ability to find hot spots from above tall structures. And they've given men the ability to propose marriage after a dramatic delivery. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's on top of it? Mm -hmm. But Geiger hasn't been able to use his drones for profit for quite a while. It's about to change, though, as the Obama administration pushes for new rules to get commercial drones back in the air. The first suggested guidelines call for only drones under 55 pounds the FAA says the operator doesn't need a pilot's license, but should pass a written test and a TSA screening. They don't want um, people using these to fly dangerous activities, and so they want to know who's doing it, and they want to keep track of those people and make sure they're not on any watch list. Businesses can fly drones no higher than 500 feet only during the day and only line of sight flying. In other words, you have to be able to see the aircraft you're flying. The restrictions are designed to avoid collisions and terrorism while allowing drones to perform the same work otherwise dangerously done by manned aircraft. People have died uh, doing aerial photography from full-size aircraft, helicopters and airplanes. Um, those deaths may be reduced significantly. The line of sight requirement would rule out deliveries by drone, which Amazon is heavily invested in. The FAA has heard their concerns, and a spokesman says these regulations are not the last word. It could still take a couple of years to get those rules approved. From the newsroom, Corn Hoggard, ABC 30, Action News. Thanks, Corn.